Before we begin, we would like to say that, in our opinion, what follows is not suitable for children, or for those of you who are of a Marxist or misandrist disposition. Oh no! Oh, for God's sake! Piss off! They are socially conscious citizens. They are sheep. <coughs> yes, it's a very apt description. Write history? Not one line! People spend all their time making nice things and other people come along and break them. It's the end. You're the cause of this disaster! I don't like it. No. 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 Hello, Grumpies. The final seven day consolidated doing figure for the power of the vagina of the doctor has been released, meaning we can finally give a figure for Shittaker's average audience. Prior to her final episode, Shittaker's viewing figures looked like this, and her average audience, from the feminazi who fell to earth to Return of the Turtle Men, was 5.94 million. Just to remind you, the overnight for The Power of the Vagina of the Doctor was 3.7 million. Since Shitika tends to put on about a million for the 7 day figure, the expectation was that the final figure will be a shade over or a shade under 5 million. But then, apart from the fan sheep, the only thing about the episode anybody was interested in was the last few minutes to see who she was going to regenerate into. Everybody now knows it was David Tennant again not cutie gay wank. So, what was the final viewing figure for the power of the vagina of the Doctor? 5.2 million. Which just goes to show how glad the public were that she was finally gone. When you add that final figure to her rating graph, it looks like this. And that 5.2 number means Jodie Shittaker's average audience is 6 million, compared to 6.4 million for Peter Capaldi. And there you have it, Jodie Shittaker is officially the least popular doctor of the retcon, and the least popular ever when you compare the overnights. Everybody might love Raymond, but apart from the fan sheep, hardly anybody loves Jodie. Moving on from the Vagina 13th Doctor disaster, Next up, it's the in between 14th Doctor, David Tennant again. As for the Tennant and Tate trilogy ratings wise, with Series 4 recently being voted the best in a Radio Times online poll, we can probably expect that figure to be somewhere between 6 and 8 million. After that, it's Cutie Gaywank, who will probably do a shitaker and get the big first nine out of curiosity before plummeting like a stone like she did. I'm sure he'll still be more popular than her whatever happens, because no matter what the Marxist fan lords say, the Doctor is a man. He's not a woman. And he's certainly not a they. For the grumpy old fan, Cutie Gaywank is not the Doctor because he was only cast because of his skin colour, like Shitaku was only cast because of her gender. Plus. He's another diversity and representation dickhead. But, to give him his due, in that one line he had in the teaser trailer, he was more the Doctor in that one line than Shitaka ever was in five fucking years. Mind you, that wouldn't be hard, would it? Until the next time. Is this the Marxists? Don't be a sheep. And stay grumpy. If you're a lefty and have been affected by anything in this video, FUCK OFF!